All right, gentlemen, you don't have to watch them, but there are some prerequisites that you need to view before you watch this episode. So you will understand completely what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, ladies, <laughs> I got some bad news for you. <laughs> I should be wearing the red shirt, but this is good pop giving you some bad news. <laughs> but I promise I'll be as nice as I can, as I fist it right up your slot B. <laughs> Teaser the pleaser, the shock of the sparker. <laughs> Handyman Habitat, the view from within the dignity siphon. Cause you know what's going on out there, dudes. You're in a sexless marriage or relationship, but you're always doing stuff. Industrial milker, man. That's all you're getting. You're getting milked. You kind of get that feeling you're being kept around because you're handy. Well, you are. Yeah, no. <laughs> and with that being said, let us begin. My strategy to help try to avoid a lot of this stuff I talk about it's just to play dumb and dumber than a box of blonde hair. <laughs> you realize that every time you have a fight or a blowout, you wind up doing some type of project. This is very close to sex slaver or do for me sexter, which is basically a glorified slur. Hmm. If you be my handyman, I'll give you a handy, man. Get it? This has to apply to you. You actually have to be handy, which I myself am not. <laughs> okay, if you're not handy, you know, this, this is a whole different ball game. You're just financing everything, which is similar, but different. That first chore you do, screw it up. And if you take down half her house. <laughs> all right, this is a dead giveaway. You make the mistake of marrying it or living there, all your shit is there. You never get put on title. Hmm, big, Big red flag. And while all this is going on, you're swinging the hammer to put in that new deck. And while you're at it, put in a trap door that only you can control. <laughs> Winning! Life insurance. Put up huge sums of your own cash, even though you're not on title, to finance a lot of this habitat maintenance. You need to remind her like, hey, this is your house. <laughs> Of course, that won't go over very well, but you will even go so far as to drive yourself into debt to finance the habitat which you have no name on title. I don't care if it's the best piece of slot C you ever had or ever will know. I don't care if it dons a top hat and sings show tunes. Cut away. Reserve three bells out the door. Now one friend of mine, he does all of the handyman habitat stuff, right? And he keeps his tools in the garage. And this is his dedicated space. And he was being pressured to move those off site into another storage area. Think it's time to move out and burn that new addition down with you. <laughs> what kind of shit is that at that out? I mean, come on, get your money back one way or another. Because you're not getting pussy payments, I'll tell you that one. She was expecting him to store his stuff off, off site, pay for storage, so, and, and still be the handy. What? Really? Come on. Smurf my balls. You realize with time that your chores and your workload around the habitat will increase. Even though you work a full work week, which may or may not involve 10, 20, or 30 hours of overtime. And on top of that, you're a handyman living in the habitat. Just think about that. And it all rhymed. <laughs> what are you going to do? When it starts getting to this, you can pretty much expect to also be the cook. Oh yeah. And on your days off, you'll have a honey do list. Six of the men that I actually spoke to lived in New York city. Cause I work out of New York now and had this happen in an apartment, which they don't even own. So it can happen anywhere. She could already be paying somebody else to be doing this and having you be the handyman at the same time. It starts out slow. This isn't like sudden impact. 
It's just like Nazi Germany. Yeah, no. But by the time you get ejected, <laughs> you'll be doing this 24-7. Femme Nazi Germany. You'll go over and fix stuff at her ma's house. You'll go over and fix stuff at her dad's house, her sister's. You'll be going all over the place. She'll nominate you or voluntold you for all kinds of work. You're being the handyman for all their habitats. And then when you're all done, you're hitting the silk, baby. You might as well just goose step yourself <laughs> right out the back door. You come to realize that you are actually tricked into wanting to do it. And I'm going to call it as I see it. And some of you can be mad about it, and that's cool, but you're stupid. All I got to do is shake it right, and you'll fall right in line with number 10. She loves me. Take it with a grain of salt and take it on the chin. Realize it. You were stupid, and now you're not stupid. Whenever she speaks to you, she's talking to you with contempt. <laughs> All right, you can tell. When the contempt comes out, it's done, dude. Realize that she's getting her upgrades somewhere else. So uh, you're being the handyman slave. Might as well build her a cage while you're at it. You know, one of my associates, or actually one of the people I interviewed for this, built an entire third floor with a walkout balcony for the third and second floor on this house. Winning. No. Do you know how hard that was? Was he appreciated for it? No. Why? Because they feel they're entitled to it and you should be happy to do it. It's exactly what it is. If this goes on for a long time, they begin to expect it. And then they begin to feel they're entitled to it. So they E and E on you. You need to flop and drop out of that stuff immediately. Do not ride this all the way into the scene of the crash because it's not pretty. You need to do your own E and E, which is escape and evade. If you let it get to this point, <laughs> <laughs> your balls are so small, they're already lost in her purse. So good luck finding them, you jackass. It's exactly what it is. How do I even explain this? They're trading their looks and their sexual assets, which are depreciating, by the way, for your entire life. What? Really? Come on. By the time I'm 40 and you're 40, I'll still have resources. While your dials and pegs will be pointing at the floor and your beef and cheddar will be sagging to your knees. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's going to be hilarious. Anyway. This is another episode of Redonkulous.com, and I hope it helps some dudes out there and pissed off some of the ladies. I still love you, and I hate you, but it is what it is. Suck it! I win! And you ladies out there who are mad at me for busting out your tricks, I don't care. Send me your nasty grams to my email, which will be posted, and I will entertain them all. <laughs> and so now we're down to that point where I whore myself out and ask for your subscription, because if you do... I'll help you build that cage <laughs> for your soon-to-be ex-wife. <laughs> Winning! All right. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. I should have worn the red shirt. Yeah, no! You will folk... <laughs> folk. <laughs> Number four folk. Folk. Fuck four folk. Edit that out. Pedicure, manicure, when you're taking care of the kids and fixing the house. Yeah, no. Don't be mad at me. Don't hate the player, hate the game, man. You're caught in the game. You're screwed. And not even with your own peg D.